Wow. Pathfinder, Kingmaker. Let's go. <laughs> what an intro. Wahaha. I'm a little all over the place, but it's fine. We are going to continue the funny fantasy game. <laughs> We're just about to unlock Kingdom Building, I believe. <clears throat> Wow. Yes, yeah, so because the last time we just taken on the stag lord, taking him, taking him out. We're back at Oleg's trading post. We rescued his wife's sister, although she's going to go change her name and do her own thing. I think we've reached level. Level five. Oh. Hell yeah. We. Yes. We're, we are going to be powerful. Full of power. But. Since we're probably going to end up be doing. King Kingdom All building. Anyway, it's going to be a while before we get into a fight anyway, I'm sure. Hello, Oleg. The Staglone is do done. Gone. Found his fortress sent the villain to oblivion. Wahaha. We are the heroes. Oleg looks with respect bordering on admiration. And good riddance. Maybe now we'll be actually a... Bleh. Try that again. Maybe now we'll be able to actually live in the Stolen Lands rather than just surviving. Without a doubt, more people will flock here now. It'll surely boost trade but all the noise they'll bring with them. Well, that's none of your concern. Bet you can't wait to return to Restov and re report your great victory. Uh, yeah. We have nothing else waiting for us. The fog seems to be thinning, but we should wait till it burns off completely. In the meantime, I'll gather some supplies for your journey to make sure you enjoy your trip back. Going back to, uh... The city where it all began. The city of the Sword Lords. Yes, 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 yes. Hello, ma'am. Good work. Nice to see I haven't lost my intuition for people. Not many would have managed to set out to the Stolen Lands and return with the Stag Lord's head. But I knew you could handle it. Congratulations are in order. Today, you'll receive the title of Baron before the High Society of Restov. And even Natala Sertova personally. God's bless her. Tomorrow, you'll be able to return to the Stolen Lands if you wish. But this time, as a ruler. Hell yeah. I like just as you if you wish. Can we just turn it down and leave? That's the end of the game. But matters of state be interesting. Can wait. For now, enjoy this feast in your honor. All the city leaders are here. It's a great opportunity to make some useful connections. Speaking of connections, let me introduce you to Kasil Eldori. He's my adopted son and apprentice. He's a trustworthy man. I'd like to send him with you as an envoy. Seal, a young half-orc with impeccable poise, performs a textbook perfect bow. <laughs> Could ask a few questions. Hmm. Do you already know about my encounter with Tartuccio, the little bastard? Of course. Keston gave me a full report. You dealt with the scoundrel perfectly. It would be naive to think that none of your neighbors will try to stick their hands in your affairs. <laughs> Especially that sly fox, Irovetti. I... I do not remember. I think we fought Cartuccio and quote-unquote killed him. But of course we saw he wasn't actually fully dead. Could ask about what game she's playing. We know there's politics everywhere. Thank you. You've done great for us. Enjoy your evening. When you're ready for the official part, come to me. It's a nice office, though. This, oh, this place. And massive. Da -da uh, app. Noble welcome. The hero deserves a reward for his feat. A baron's title. 
All the high Saudi of Restov are gathered to witness a ceremony. Even Natalia Sertova honored the celebration with her presence, although she seemed almost ready to intervene. What could it be that so vexed nobility? A mister. Perhaps we'll be, um, be able to understand it once we become noble, that is. Guard. Jethel. Hello. They call this a feast. I show them some real festivities if they let me. That's concerning. Keston Garrus. Hello, Garrus. Well, Tartuccio, well, well, scum, and how do we... Maybe I've had one too many. My man's drinking himself. Goddamn. Nagar Var. This man is obviously more comfortable in the battlefield than the company of nobles. My man. He's well-built, but the expensive waistcoat he's wearing doesn't quite fit properly, as though it's borrowed. He has a few pale scars across his face, and his dark hair is drawn to an unkept ponytail. A few streaks of gray running through it. He greets you with a broad smile and a firm handshake. Let me introduce myself. I'm Magar Var, the new ruler of Dunsward, your neighbor to the east. Like you, I'm about to be a baron. Great job with the stag lord, by the way. Not everyone could exterminate a whole great gang of bandits with such a small team. How'd you earn the title? Truth be told, my team and I just happened to be in the right place at the right time. Jaman de Aldora needs someone reliable to take and hold the territory. I'm the captain of a mercenary team, if that wasn't clear. Varnling host. Have you heard of us? No? No matter. We've done work for Jamandi before. This time the task was simple. We just waltzed into the area, cleared of, of the most brazen monsters, and built a small fort to hold the place. And for that, a barony and land to own. It was a dream job. How do you feel being a noble? Looking at these rich clothes, he smirks. Like a pheasant on a plate. I killed all kinds of monsters. This is the first time I so strongly felt like turning away could get me eaten. Not so an arrogant man in the corner of the room. See the lad? Baron Drello. He's not like us. Who knows what generation of Baron he is. Didn't even shake my hand. You and me? We're like dirt beneath his boots. That's why those like us, the newly made nobility, need to stick together. Otherwise he'd take my land and yours in the blink of an eye. Good to know. Farewell. Yeah, he's our neighbor. And good to know that at least one of our neighbors doesn't hate us. I get the feeling this other one, this fella, does not like us. In due time. Pour up to the brim so that... So, oh, I must be drunk. I forgot the line. A little Lindsay. Mary. The wine's all right, nice and strong, with the appetizers. Barely a mouthful. Yeah. These people are not just celebrating. It seems your feet has given them new hope. Oh, oh. We're being approached by Hello Tiefling. Will you drink with me? You see Casey approaching, the tiefling you met during the battle at Jaman de Aldori's mansion. As she's drawing his near, she placed one of the cups of wine she's holding into your hand. Hmm. Of course, to beauty. <laughs> Just start flirting to with her beauty. immediately. It sweetens our happy days <laughs> and brings solace to our dark and sorrowful ones. But jokes aside, I came to apologize. I know the words I said in our conversation with Lady Aldery might have offended you, but this was not my intention. The lessons life has dealt me were not easy. I've learned to be wary of new acquaintances, which is why I refused to join your party. I hope you will forgive me for this weakness and for my harsh words, and I hope you will hear me out, for I have something to tell you. Yeah, of course. Apology accepted. We were a nobody. What did you want to tell us? Also, I really like uh, her voice actress, I suppose. Voice actor. Yes, yes. Very lovely. As it happens, I came across some very valuable information. What brave conqueror of these wild lands wouldn't be intrigued by news of an ancient shrine? Possibly full of great treasures. Mm -hmm. A place such as this was discovered we do like by treasure. old friends from Kadira. Kadira. And it just so happens to be located in lands that today become rightfully yours. My friends lack the courage to enter the hey. shop and People seek the treasure. In the background. What will stop us? We who know the taste of battle and have been singed by the same fire. Hell yeah. I'm sure you'd like to finally gain your official Hell title yeah. and celebrate your victory. And I don't like noisy parties and ceremonies. Find me when you return to your dominion. 
I'll rent a house in your capital. We can discuss the details of our expedition there. Sure. So long, friend. I'll call you so today, because soon enough, all you'll be hearing is, Your Grace, Your Grace, Your Grace. <laughs> Saluting you with the cup, the Tifa girl steps back, disappears into the shadows between the columns. Sorrow flow. Chandra Mervi and Natala Sartova. Natala Sartova, well, they have two different. Oh, I see. Her and her family. Very powerful. I mean, the ruling family of Brevoy. Yes. She's discussing something with an unfamiliar old lady in a low voice. Upon Yona noticing you, she breaks into a sugary sweet smile. You are not only tough, but quick. Well, congratulations on your victory. Enjoy it while you can. Eh? What do you think awaits us? Uh, nothing good, I feel. The Aldori, our dearest friends, didn't deem it necessary to inform you of their plans, I assume. You see, they're preparing to separate from Brevoy. It will not be a peaceful process. They lack the strength, currently. Hence, using this legal loophole to create some independent allies. Once the Civil War breaks out, your lands will be the first to endure a strike from Brevoy's forces. Perhaps they'll erect a memorial stone an independent rest off to honor you. Well, I wouldn't count on even that, really. What do you propose, then, huh? In your situation, the most reasonable course of action would be to align yourself with the lawful rules of Brevoy, the noble houses. The Aldori won't dare to rebel, knowing they'll immediately become entrapped. You could help Brevoy avoid a civil war, while simultaneously enjoying some well-deserved peace in your lands. I believe Jamandi's attempted to impose a guard on you as an emissary. I'm guessing her low-born stepson, the green-skinned boy, Castle. It's up to you, of course, but I would recommend you a different envoy. Please meet Chandra Mervi, an experienced diplomat. who's more familiar with Brevoy's politics than a brawler could be. The old woman staying next to Natal gives you a slight boy, a bow. I'd be happy to help you establish diplomatic relations with Brevoy. We'll consider it. Probably not. I don't think we're the type of person to really care that? about a uh, noble kind of bullshit. They don't care. Yeah, okay. Uh, Lander. <gasps> is it? Is this the fella? I don't know. Chronom's not here. Um, Lander. Ah. It is. He's the man whose face we've stolen. He's a different man now. A handsome, well just young man of about 17 years old looks at you with a polite smile. So he should how look how we are, but we stole his face. So you're the famous slayer of the Stag Lord's gang, soon to be a baron. Please make your acquaintance. My name is Lander. Just Lander, no last name, no title. Well, let's just say here I'm I'm here incognito. Under my circumstances, it's wise to keep one's lineage to oneself. Truth be told, that's precisely what I want to speak with you about. See, I'm, no, I'm an heir to one of Brevoy's noble houses. I won't say which, but believe me, a newly appointed baron with no connections would do well to have a friend like me. I travel the country in secret without servants so I can see it for myself. Not from a carriage window, but face to face with the people. My family would never approve, of course, but then I never asked. I need to know Brevoy if I'm going to rule a part of it someday. That's pretty fair, actually. I know Jamandi wants to impose her steps on him as an emissary of Brevoy. Refuse, take me instead. Don't look at my age. Well, they may have trained this half orc to sing a sword, I've been training to rule since I was a child. I'll be of far greater use to you, both now and in the future. After I have a firm position in my family. Huh. Okay. I'll consider it. Okay, okay. I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm probably torn between Aldori and him, honestly. Mm. Not sure. Honestly, I feel like we probably will stay loyal to the Sword Lords. They've done well to us. A feast in times of pestilence, a ludicrous attempt to sink into reverie. 
digress. Contemplating one's own insignificance. Oh, harem. Always life of the party. This man's gorgeous clothes hide rippling muscles beneath them. He looks past your ear, obviously bored. Baron Hannes Drelev, he says offhandedly, emphasizing the word Baron. You must be the Stag Lord Butcher. I'm sorry, I quite forgot your name. But you took out the Stag Lord and his gang, and so Sword Lord Jamandi's granted you permission to take his place, right? Well, congratulations. My lands lie to the west of yours. I suppose we're neighbors now. Yeah, I defeated the Stag Lord. What did you do to deserve your new dominion? A smirk appears on his face. I don't need to deserve or prove anything. Countless generations of my glorious ancestors have done so for me. Ah, so you're one of those. If I had a slightly bigger army, Sword Lord Jamandi would have simply given all of the stolen lands to me. Alas, I don't have so many soldiers at my disposal, so she had to man urgently make barons of the like of you and Varn. So, no army, no special merits. Given land just for being pretty. Under other circumstances, I'd have had you whipped for such words. Let's not ruin Lady Eldori's celebration. Once so badly to measure merits, we can do so another time. Hmm. We're going to end up killing him, aren't we? As it should be. I feel like they're building it to where we have a one neighbor friend, one neighbor enemy. Unless it's the other way around. They're just having a grand fucking time. As... As Vanki King. A handsome man with a weather-beaten face grasps, grasps your hand tightly in his rough, calloused palms. Unlike the rest of the guests in their festive clothes, he wears a simple robe. The only luxury you see on him is a holy symbol of Eristil, made of solid gold, which, to uh, remind, is essentially like the god of hunt. The stag god. Very, uh, yeah, family, farming, hunting, and trade, like the core deity of this area. The other guests look at him with respect, some border on awe. Congratulations on your victory, he says in a deep voice. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Izvanki King, a priest of Aristil and Restor. We packed a religion check, yeah. Yeah, saw how you fought beside Jamandi that night. Your god grants you impressive power. Yes, I used to serve Aristil on the battlefield, but those days are long past. Now I call on his power to heal those who have fallen from a roof more often than anyone wounded by a sword. Of course, someone has to roam the forest and slay monsters, but I'm more useful in my congregation here, attending more mundane affairs, like hospital shelters and charity fairs. We could try to get him into helping us. We have a plus 13 diplomacy. Bringing law to the stolen lands a difficult endeavor. Be grateful for any help you could spare. Ah, we did. It's a truly noble undertaking. I believe our community will be able to provide you with reasonable assistance. I'll help you construct a shrine in your capital, free of charge. Oh, thank you. Do many people here in Restov venerate Aristil? They revere many gods in Restov. They pray to Abadar, patron of cities, and Farazma, gatherer of souls. But also some more rare cults. But there's no denying that the stag god has the largest congregation here. No wonder people here have lived off farming and hunting for centuries. Yeah, we're not. I mean, we know why he's probably dressed simply. He probably doesn't care. Let's turn up with a faint smile. The nobles dress in silks and satins to stand out from the poor. A priest wears a simple robe to stand out from the nobles. Yeah, fair. He knows. He knows that he... He's... He, he doesn't need to dress fancy to know that he's important. Aw, oh, Valerie, no more taste for high society. Okay, we've had a nice chat with everyone. Well, I'm gonna save as well, but... Kind of funny if we just... Do you think you can actually cast spells here? This spell doesn't work like that. Oh, you can't. <laughs> okay. We're just gonna go ahead and low. I'm just, just wanted to see. They didn't attack us. I don't want to be down a spell. Good to know. You can just start a fight in the middle of the banquet. That's kind of fun. Ooh, I wonder if there's... Ooh, I wonder if we were evil. That's an option. Interesting. All according to plan. Joseph Selamias. An older man with full sideburns look at you with interest with a golden eyeglass. Uh, we know apparently he's the Lord Mayor of Restov and an ally of Jamandi. Ah, 
Oh, right. He was there when we were told to go into the Stolen Lands. Right. Well, now, if isn't the hero of the festivities, festivities, the protege of our dear Jamandi. You pulled this all off quite cleverly. cleverly. I confess I wasn't convinced your enterprise would succeed. Even bet a bottle of my best Pataxian wine against you. But I'm happy to admit I was wrong. The Aldori have always been adept at finding new talent. I don't think we've been properly introduced. So it would seem I am Yosef Selemias, Lord Mayor of Restov. I rule this town and the adjacent lands as your northern neighbor. I hope you can look forward to a long and fruitful friendship. So you rule Restov, whatever the Eldori. Ah, uh, Brevoy's politics seem complex and incomprehensible to many. Here in this part of Rosland, the spirit of northern freedom still lives. Well, we're loyal to the throne, of course. May the gods prolong the life of his highness. But here, far from the dominions of the great houses, we have our own way of life. It's especially important now, after the certain events that I probably don't need to name. The Eldori sword, sword lords used to rule Rostland. They're still the largest landowners and main military force in the region. But it's not for nothing that Restov is called a free city. We're proud to choose the Lord Mayor from among the citizens, considered not by their lineage, but their own merits. That is a very good way to do things. What events? Give you a patronizing smile. Well, an aspiring politician needs to be well informed, talking, of course, about the disappearance of the ruling house Rogarvia. Oh. Former ruling house, descendants of a conqueror that united the region, and then just vanished. Most members just disappeared. Interesting. Imagine that old man Coral conquered our land two centuries ago. Be shameless lie to say that nobody wished his royal house, but he could just disappear into thin air. Once that exact thing happened, turned out nobody was ready for it. Poof, all over the country, every member of the royal house disappeared without trace. Nobody knows what happened. It's a mystery. But a mystery pregnant with opportunity for everyone. That is interesting. I don't even know what would cause that. Interesting, interesting. How are things in Restov? Don't want to boast, but things have been going well in recent years. Trade prospers, the population grows, and the citizens are happy. Although recently, especially after the disappearance of House Rogarvia, more and more troublemakers have been appearing, and people are talking about the most shocking things... Those sort of rumors aren't worthy of your attentions. Okay. Uh, please wait a moment. Your young barony will need resources to establish itself. But I've been told you're somewhat in need of financial assistance. I mean, I suppose. Could organize and supply everything you need for the construction, spit out the costs on extremely favorable terms. I could immediately procure, let's say, 500 cartloads of building supplies. I'm sure that would give you a good start. Uh, in exchange, I'd ask a small favor until you repay the debt in full. Assume the obligation of contracting building services to Restov's Builders Guild. Do we have a deal? Ugh. I'm gonna take a guess that we can, but it's going to give us, like, it's gonna be more expensive to build. Huh. Okay. I we hmm. I think I don't think it's fully worth it because if I remember correctly, we have to spend a project to fix it. And I don't... I think we can get away, because by the time we probably are able to fix it, we probably will have spent more in interest than gain out of it so no i think we're going to do it on our own let's not indebt ourselves immediately to somebody we don't know who they are i feel like that's maybe not the best idea well 
Jamandi. So, how do you like our little gathering? I hope you've made some useful connections. Shall we move on to the official proceedings? Uh, sure. Talk about the envoy we'll be taking. My apprentice, Cassiel Aldori, will go with you. Won't he? Yes. So we have between... The nobles, don't care about them. That lone fella, I don't know how much I trust him. Yes. You choose, I won't argue. Yes. But you must choose your We're going to be circle, taking... I just want to be Cassie very Aldori sure. Will go with you. Yes. You choose, be I won't very argue. sure we pick the right option. Your inner circle with the utmost care. Yes, we're ready. Excellent. Stand here. Let's officially be sworn in. Lords and ladies! Today, we are here to honor three brave people who have done the impossible. They've tamed the stolen lands. Baron Hannes Drelev, the new master of Glenabon, Captain Glenabon. Barn, the conqueror of Dunsward, and finally, the tamer of the Shrike Hills, who put an end to the atrocities of the Stag Lord's bandits. Step forward. The halo of the people of the free city of Restal. <laughs> Just blinding her. Upon you this noble <laughs> title. Rise, your grace. Hell yeah. Now is where the fun begins. Actually, we might we have to explore our capital first too, so I'd like to get into the building a little bit though. It's still early though. I've only been here like half hour. And I believe we're at our newly created capital. Or are we going to get right into building? Victory. The stag lord's dead. And the capital of the new barony has been built in place of his fort. That was how the long and challenging Taming of the Stolen Lands began. This is a nice art. I like this. It's Regongar in the back going wild. Hello, hello. Greetings, greetings. Is that Kestrel? No, uh, no, Keston, rather. I mixed up the two names, the orc and the fella. Welcome, your grace. Keston salutes you. He seem, You can see he's a bit anxious. It seems he'd rehearsed his speech many times. Let me once again congratulate you on your victory and your new title. Lady Jamandi transferred me here. I'm at your disposal. I'm not one to bestow honors, but I want you to know I'm glad to serve you. I'm here to welcome you on behalf of your new capital citizens. The Staglord's formal stronghold will soon be a thriving city. Word travels fast, and the first settlers have already arrived with new ones approaching as we speak. While you're visiting Restov, much has been done here. Your benefactors, the Eldori, Invested a great deal of resources in rebuilding the city. Stand ready to answer your questions and to show you around the most important sites. Okay. Uh, where are my companions at? They're all somewhere around here, but I never kept an eye on who and where exactly. Well, I assume Tristan's with Jod. And you can always find Lindsay. Just follow the noise and turmoil. <laughs> are there citizens I should know about? Are all the acquaintance Jod is right here? Aristil's clerics normally don't like cities much, but he's eager to serve you. Also, the emissary from Brevoy is here, waiting for you in the throne room. There's also this curious matter. An elf has paid us a visit. A blind elf. Desna only knows how he managed to get here. He seemed like a peaceful, even pleasant fellow, though naturally a bit odd, so I let him stay a while. It's up to you to decide what to do with him now. That's about it, I guess. What's the mood of the people here? I must admit, I've never seen anything like that my whole life city a whole barony born right in front of our eyes the people can sense the moment and today we're feeling proud as a rule i'm not too cheerful or chatty i'd normally feel out of place among all the rejoicing but today's just one of those days i guess main question where can we get a drink or three time to toast my victory <laughs> he hesitates for a moment then laughs i'll make sure to show you the moment we enter the city the tavern was the first business that opened building cities thirsty work uh, beg your forgiveness for my behavior during your reception. I drank a little too much. It's a day for celebration. Oh yeah, he did get pretty... <laughs> I remember. We just chatted for a second with him. Yep. Hell yeah. Let's lead the way. Let's go. Hell yeah. <clears throat> I 
Oh, little bow, little bow. Hello there. Small. That's a small child. We are your new subject. We're selecting a site to build our house. It's wet near the lake and windy up here on the hill. Fine place to throw garbage at your neighbor's heads, though. <laughs> oh. Just chat with the folk of the town. A little child. It's a good thing you got rid of those monsters and bandits, your grace. It might not be a child. It might be a gnome. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Do you recognize this place, your grace? This is where the stag's fortress wall used to be. Not that it saved him in the end, huh? That's true. Didn't help him at all. It's a little market district going on. The beginnings of one, at least. Our workers did a fine job turning this bandit den into the heart of the town. Yeah, they just, like, tore the whole place down, built it up again. Look at that. The heart of our town is the main square. We plan to, plan to hold street festivities and fairs here. Look, we already have our first vendor. Hell yeah. Everyone loves a good, like, town square. It's good shit. Good shit. Ooh, bah, bah, bah. If you turn to the right from the square, you end up straight in our tavern. Not bad, not bad. I do love the tavern. Our tavern's usually the first place to go. Place to sleep, place to drink, place to relax. Taverndale's blessed by Caden Kaleon himself, I swear. The lady who owns it is a gem. Heard our baron's as tall as a troll, has hair of pure gold, and can breathe fire. Two of those things are very true. We can breathe fire, and uh, our hair is lighted and is lit right now. All barons can breathe fire. Trust me. Rude. I mean, it's literally true. We have... Welcome. Glad to serve you. I love... They're just fucking gossiping about us. Honestly, though, yeah, fair. Your grace, those are our guards. We keep order in the city, keep their mouths busy with gossip. Commander's Hayden... Ooh, that's a nice view. Here's the observation platform. Hope one day your cap will grow large enough we won't be able to see see it to its full extent from this perch. Is that the lake? The silver mirror? I think it is. So we're looking south. Interesting. It is a nice little view. Look at that. The building in front of us is your residence. That's where we'll head now. It, they've definitely touched it up, haven't they? Oh, yeah, we have a bestiary. I never look at it. Maybe we should look at it. Let's see what we got unlocked. I also feel like maybe my mic isn't close enough to me. I feel like it's not the loudest. Oh. <clears throat> Welcome to your barony. You're about to make the unyielding Stolens a proper, prosperous kingdom. Long and arduous road ahead of you. You and your advisors are going to deal with matters of national importance, found to build new settlements, seize developed new regions, solve pressing problems, take advantage of good opportunities. Prosperous governor will be handsomely rewarded. With support and donations of the subjects, promising alliances with other states, wealth for the treasury, many more other things. Okay. So now we've reached the main chambers. This is the throne room. We will hold court, receive visitors. Let me draw your attention to this large map depicting your barony and its surroundings. We'll mark all the important scout reports and news worthy of your grace's attem attention. Castle Aldori. Greetings, your grace. Castle, Lady Jamani's ward, gives a polite bow. It was a pleasure to meet you at the Restov reception. On behalf of your allies and benefactors, the Aldori sword lords, I'd like to offer you some advice. So we have a little bit of community, loyal military economy, divine arcana, stability, trade agreement, offer. You can solve most of your baronage problems by granting appointments to the right people, responsible people. Certain state business will demand your personal attention, as will the visits of especially important guests. Reports of such outstanding events will be marked on your map. You can always check it while considering your plan. And we have a difficulty level of our barony set to automatic. Now we're going to go full in. According to the ancient traditions of Brevoy and most of the River Kingdoms, rulers address affairs of state and receive visitors at the beginning of the month. 
My advice here is to maintain this tradition and regularly visit your capital when needed. First thing you should do as a ruler is assign royal people to all important positions in your barony. Your clerics, Jard and Tristan, were the first to seek an audience. We'll distract you further and leave you to consider. Let's get my congratulations. May your rule be long and prosperous. Okay. Jod, your grace, allow me to congratulate you on receiving the title of Baron. I'm confident you'll be able to bring order to these troubled lands. Though, to be honest, that isn't exactly what we wanted to speak to you about. Triss and I have been talking a great deal about what happened at the Temple of the Elk. It doesn't all make sense to us yet, but one thing is clear. There's a powerful curse at work. Corrupted the very essence of that sacred place, steeping it with putrescence. That's a fun word. I'm disgusted with whoever could do this. He sails loudly, catching his breath, and now there's a new woe. Tristan and I believe the curse not simply disperse of its own accord. The place near the capital rumored by the locals be cursed. Tristan and I visited this dreadful place, and we felt the same putrescence as at the Temple of the Elk. What is it and where is it? What is and where is it? There's a bald hilltop not far from here, to the north of the capital. Its crown's entirely barren of life. The locals believe that rituals glorifying the dark gods were held there back in ancient times. There's no longer any trace of such rituals, but the air around the hilltop is heavy to the point of stifling. This place is like a rotting wound, closed but not healed. This wound will undoubtedly open again. Tristan and I felt something approaching, something ominous. The curse will soon return to plague us once more, I swear by Eris still. We'll go there when we're able. Be happy to accompany you, but I would not expect to see anything new there at present. We're with Tristian. We've been to this hilltop. It's barren but filled with a dense atmosphere and unease. What do you suggest? The curse will grow in strength, and we predict it will reach the peak of its strength in about one month. That's when we should visit the bald hilltop and resolve this issue. For now, we can only rate, wait and prepare. Make your pardon, Your Grace, for intervening with you, getting the grasp of your barony. I'm sure you have even more pressing matters at hand right now, like learning to read. Because apparently I can't do that. <laughs> Ancient Curse. That's an ongoing quest that I know. Just occasionally you have to go beat up some monsters. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I'll go over the, the tutorial as well because it's been a hot second since I've used, I've played this game. The Barony has 10 basic stats, each supervised by an advisor. They are Population with a Regent, a Loyalty with a Counselor, Military with a General, Economy with a Treasurer, Divine with a High Priest, Relations with a Grand Diplomat, Stability with a Warden, Magic with a Magister, Culture with a Curator, and Espionage with a Minister. Stats increase if your governance is successful, decrease if events don't end well, or other negative factors are placed in your way. Don't let your stats drop to zero or lower. It will cause subjects to riot, and your state will begin to crumble. Each stat has certain milestones or ranks within them. Any 20 points in a stat will increase your rank. Rank 1 unlocks a corresponding advisor position for that stat. Further development of the stat upgrades to its ranks will be possible only if you have an advisor in the relevant position. Governing your barony will require one advisor for each stat. May appoint your companions while some of the stolen citizens. Each of the ten has at least three characters in the game, I believe, who are qualified to hold it. Not all will be willing to serve you right away. Some of them need to be convinced. Appointing others will require completion of an assignment for them or rendering them some other service. Each advisor acts on their own ideology. They have their own opinions on everything that happens in your domain. Therefore, may, you may want to select characters whose governance philosophy is consistent with your own. Once uh, open the tab over there, fuck with that. Each barony gets a bonus from a specific ability that appointed advisor. Exact size of the bonus indicates the upper right of the advisor's card. Only advisors may address the problems, opportunities, and sudden events that occur in your domain and require immediate attention. Don't leave these positions vacant. Choose a name for our barony. I usually remember I do, I think it's the Shrike Confederacy because it's the Shrike lands and it's like a group of people, right? Uh, kind of, kind of thing. I, because we're chaotic, so it's not, you know, it's like an alliance of states. But I mean, I don't know if we want to do that now. Um, 
I don't want it to just be the stolen lands. That's kind of boring. Uh... It's always hard. Names are always hard. Hmm. I'm honestly, I we can just I can just look up any good ideas. I don't know if anyone watching has any ideas either. Hmm. 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 Could name it actually. Oh, what what was um I could name it something from lore. Hold on. I could, I could, I could name it something lore. That could be fun. Let me just find the fucking thing. Um one second. Yes. Okay. The uh... Yeah, unfortunately you can't change it. I hate decisions like that. That you can't change later. I awful. I mean I, I know why, bro, but still it's like, you know. What if you change your name? What if what if you what if you change your mind? You know, like goddamn. Uh No, I'm I'm gonna do We're gonna we're gonna do it of well, I, I could have went lore. It doesn't super make sense though. So we're just going to be like that. Settlement map. Click on the capital to open the map. Oh. oh yeah, we can rename it this. Sure. For now. That we can rename, though. Construct buildings to increase your barony stats. Each building has a cost in BP, build points, and a construction time. You should construct several buildings simultaneously. Start construction, select it, place it in the slot. Provide special bonus if you meet certain conditions, most commonly two buildings uh, adjacent to each other. Make sure to use this feature to your full benefit. Some buildings can be placed only in designated spots or areas. Examples appear only on water. Mill must be built with no other buildings around it. Demolish building, get rid of it, recover half the resource spent. Want to move a building, have to demolish the old one, getting half and construct a new slot. Okay. Well. We have a free shrine, or we will at some point. Pier? I mean, we have a, we have a spot for a pier. Lumber, longhouse... Okay. Okay. Wooden wall, probably good. How much? Oh, we have 450. Let's go for defenses there. That's probably a good idea. Tavern, when adjacent to a longhouse. Extra relations. Longhouse feels like very much. It's like the town hall kind of building. Lumberyard Monument Herbalist House Shrine That must be near Shrine Uh, when looking at someone With a tavern Just no, Fuck it We'll, we'll put a, a longhouse in the center And we can put like a, uh, a Tavern here 
plus one espionage one adjacent to that, but this barracks wants to be next to a longhouse as well. Granary windmill? We could do a windmill up in the here. Plus one to community if with a granary or brewery. Brewery? That's not the word. I'll hold off on that for now, because I think it's the same spot as a watchtower. Jason, okay. We do a shop here and then a smithy there. Do you want to just? I don't know if I want to build everything, everything, but a few things are nice to have. Yeah. Orphanage Shrine. I put a shrine there, a monument. Mo right, monument? Herbalist house. Arcane next to a shrine. This is divine next to a monument. Okay, I think that's good. Let's leave a few spaces, leave a few with that. We can purchase. It's 80 per, so we could buy a hundred at most. It's a little steep, but I mean it's fair. Okay, that's that's fun. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Signing in alright, we have to do advisors. This is the regent for the community. Octavia solve problem peacefully, follows the letter of the law. I don't think the law... Super, I, we're not super lawful. Can claim new regions to expand our territory. Meet special conditions, complete a quest, reach a certain rank. Collect BP, find an unoccupied advisor to take charge of the claim. Uh, takes time, will automatically speed up for 14 days. The counselor. Tristan cares for the people. The general. Uh, direct approach, hot-headed direct. Help those in need. I kind of like that. More benevolent. I feel like maybe the direct approach isn't always the one. We can't get a treasurer. And... Jod wants to solve perdition's problems without disrupting local traditions. Harim... Unusual but effective solutions. I think having the local priest is a good idea. Rebuild the Temple of the Elk. 160. Okay. So that's that. We could pillage the Temple of the Elk. I don't want to do that. An offer from him. Seven days to solve. Oh, actually, oh, in that case, let's go. If we do that, there's the constructed. Um, let's get that back a bit. We'll put a shrine there because if we want to do that, we can make 14 days. Right. Uh, trade agreement. We don't have a treasure anyway. Um, regions. Okay. Well, in that case, we can do projects, economy, you. Start project. Rebuild cost, it costs 60 days as well. That's a bit hot. We can do it. Maybe not yet. Claim the outskirts. I think we can just start claim. Hell yeah. So we, we've claimed it, and now we can build a new village. That's right. Thank you. Let's go. There's a lot of lands to claim with all this. One of your barony ranks has reached 20 points. Time to increase its rank. Meet with the advisor, discuss the future of the state. Advisors may disapprove. Talk to it, make a decision. New project will be available. 
take you and your advisor 14 days to do. Um, the first shrine in your capital will be built free of charge. Well, everything's basically done, so we can just go free shrine, right? Yeah. What stats above 20, anyway? I don't even know. Oh, actually, no, it's not the city, it's the total, right? Yeah, probably. Stats. Loyalty. I mean, that's a good one to have high. That's a... Uh... Bandit Outrage. Bandit campments have been emerging the Gnarl Marches. Marches. Yeah, we'll send him off to go deal with bandits while we do our own thing. Which is... Harim has a request. Seems to be worried and wants to discuss something. Okay. Have a chat with our friend Harim. Oh, it's uh, Tristian's first, apparently. Okay. Greetings, Baron. I'm sorry to take away from other affairs, but your people need you. The stolen lands were freed from the Stag Lord. The people sighed in relief. Many are still confused by their swift change of fortune. Truth be told, they simply don't know what to think of their new Baron, nor to expect of you. You'll be our fair ruler to all, only those for wealth and status. Let's assure your people. Show them where your favor truly rests. Perhaps a small celebration would help win them over. Of course, you could spend the same amount on a luxurious dinner for the wealthiest of your baron. But I recommend organizing a fair for the common people, one who's upon whose shoulders your power truly resides. Yeah. Community and culture, economy relations. No, yeah, we're definitely much more of a the common people kind of thing. We're, we're not a noble. And we're not really going to fit in with the nobles. Yeah, so ultimately I hold them closest to my heart. Hell yeah. And by doing that, we've now... We can now upgrade the loyalty as well. Harim looks embarrassed. He runs his fingers through his beard and clears his throat a few times and speaks at last. Uh, I heard, not that it's important, but well... I heard an ancient trade road built by the doors of the Five Kings Mountains runs through these lands. I don't know what happened to them or where they went. Unforgiving time spares no one, but the road itself is still there. Possibly not only the road. So this is, um... I think an ancient dwarven region? Yeah. Dwarven kingdoms. He holds his beard in his fist. Well, I have a request. If you find any dwarven ruins in the area, I'd like to see them with my own eyes. Why? I shouldn't, probably, but it's like a wound that's never healed. You know it only hurt more, but you still need to scratch it. Of course it's foolish. Foolish and vain. But still, I wish to look at them. Of course. Whatever you want, our dear friend Harim. Seems to have left his homeland long ago. Jod, your grace, I was at Oleg's trading post recently and noticed just old Boken just standing there, bored to death with nothing to do. It's most unfortunate. After all, the old Grum was a very knowledgeable alchemist. However, he has no use for his skills since the locals need nothing more than the simplest of healing potions. And it struck me, why don't you hire him as your court alchemist? His decoctions and tinctures would certainly prove most useful to you. Also, it might be cheaper than simply buying from him or some other merchant. Sure. Yeah, go chat. Yeah, we have to go to Balkan to see. Here is the weird elf that we need to chat with as well. We have a f couple more things. We have we have a settlement to build as well. We can start the rank up project, but first I think maybe we should chat with Balkan. Yes, real cave. Two weeks. However, I want to look at a map. I want to find like a nice crossroad. A map of stolen land, like with the roads and shit. Because uh, I want to have a good. A good look at it, right? Because right here, I th right up here, I think, is the 
Oh, like trade books, right? So. Yeah. I'm just looking at a, a, a map of the stolen maps. Yeah. You can always do one like over here. Like a good location over here, I think. Trade guard. Sure. <laughs> hello, hello. Aw. Oh, yes. Oh, bless them. It is very late for them. They definitely need to go to sleep. Ah, uh, we need more money. More, uh... Building out 50. Could do a brewery. Or barracks. This far out, I think maybe just like a shop. Here. And then a... A tavern there. And then we're good. Walls, shop, tavern. Honestly, that's pretty much all you need for a, a burgeoning little town. Isn't it? Isn't it? Um... Well, let's go chat with Oleg. Well, for that, we have plenty How of people to serve you, your grace. How are you enjoying your duties? Everything is all well, your grace. I just keep forgetting what a mess it is in the stolen lands, and how troubled are the minds of its people. Sometimes I must listen to such nonsense from my visitors. Erastin, forgive them. Okay. Erastil. I keep saying Erastil. Not, is it? Are we good? We're good on items. Yes. We could sell a bit. We do need... You know, we're gonna... We're not gonna sell everything yet, but we do need money at some point. Probably the only person proper to talk to is the storyteller. The man is standing before you resembles an elf, but a very old one. His face is wrinkled and his beard's as white as mountain snow. The man seems to be completely blind. The old man stares past you with unseeing eyes. He seems to be consumed in his thoughts. He mutters a soft melody, swaying back and forth slightly to its rhythm. The man shudders briefly and stops singing. His mouth opens and closes a few times, bringing to mind a fish but ashore. Who is there? Is that you, your grace? How could you tell it was me? He smiles slightly. It's not so hard to recognize a ruler by the way he walks. No one here steps as confidently as you, your grace. Who are you? I'm an elf from Kionin. Uh, the homeland of the elves in this world. Okay. It's almost completely evacuated by the elves just before the fall of the Star Stone. And have only recently returned to the world. Become an isolationist realm. Okay. My name is not important. I'm the storyteller. Collective stories. I collect unknown legends of ancient times. The man smiles, but it doesn't seem to be directed towards you. Long ago, I was a smith in Kionin. The fires of the forge burned out my eyes, but I'm grateful for it. If I could see, I would yet forge suits of armor for Iadra's, uh, Iadara's guards. He said, I have stepped on the path of an adventure and gatherer of ancient legends. He ponders silently for a moment. Many people are long dead. Their homes crumble to dust and their bodies to ash. Only legends can still tell us of their triumphs and defeats, their joys and fears. I'd be so interested to hear the stories told about us after our demise. I've always been drawn to the Stolen Lands where countless expedition armies and even kingdoms have met their untimely ends. When I learned of a new barony being found in the heart of these lands, I knew I wanted to be part of its story, so I made the journey here. Are you really an elf? Do other elves age like you have? I mean, they do. It just takes a long time. Common question. Despite my unusual looks, I am an elf. 
An old one, yes. Perhaps older than any other elf in Kyonan. However, I doubt my age alone is responsible for my appearance. I keep the stories of many peoples and races, some forever gone from the face of Galarian. But they live on in my memory and my heart. When I accept a new story, I lock it within myself, bearing the weight of its words and the emotions they invoke. Sometimes I think that I probably should have died long ago. But some incomprehensible force is keeping me alive, granting me the ability to continue my quest to gather stories. Be it divine power or fell curse, I'm grateful either way. Okay, do you want to trade stories? His voice, his, uh, voice rustles like autumn leaves. I'm a collector, not a trader. If I share a story with you, you will see the power to pass it further, changing or embellishing it, whether willingly or not. Can I be certain you'll keep my stories intact in their absolute purity? No, I do not think so. At least not yet. These legends are the most precious viables of this world. The last remnants of ancient tribes. Their beacons illuminating the way to the past, allowing us to meet generations long gone. I cannot let their light fade. The path to the past must not be lost. He thinks for a moment and continues. But I can offer you a deal, Your Grace. If on your journeys you discover items that come from eras past, bring them to me. And if my eyes can see the stories that these relics hold, I'll gladly share them with you. To find all the pieces of any ancient artifacts, I can even recall my smithing skills to unite them, restore their power. I found some shards, apparently. May I? This scorched piece of metal is part of a curious artifact known as the Necklace of Double Crosses. In sense, inside of it, I sense a story of many deeds, not heroic, but low and mal maleficent. If you find all seven of its fragments, be able to restore the artifact and recount its inglorious story. Okay. I brought some relics. Are they a story? How interesting. May I hear, Grims? Coined from a non-existent country, when Coral the Conqueror mastered Rostlin, having claimed it for Bravoy, he prohibited the issuance and use of such coins. Both no ordinary folk and the Eldori sword was required to use new coins, decorated with Coral's profile. But no one was quick to be rid of those prohibited coins, oh no. In many houses, they still store boxes and whole chests of such coins, waiting for the day when Rosslyn declares its independence. 3,800 gold. 2,700 for the token of a dryer. Go down. What is this? I hear the voice of trees, the smell, the scent of fresh leaves. A dryad mark, is it not? I'd be happy to purchase it from you. He idly toys the ancient, plain-looking coin of an ancient Cyclops coin. What was the name of the Kaloran ruler who issued this coin? Does anyone remember now? What did the Cyclopses use it to purchase? Food, books, weapons? Perhaps someone's life or their freedom, I can say. Its history is erased by the Earth Fall. A cataclysmic event of a swarm of meteorites. Oh. But I will buy it for you for significantly more than it was worth in its own time. We just have a ton of items we've been building up. He weighs the soldier's tag in his palm. The soldier does not ask where the banners of war are headed. Here she goes to battle, dies, and leaves it to others to decide whether the cause was just. Words are getting a little difficult. This tag belonged to one of the many warriors who helped establish the glory of the Talden Empires. If you'd permit me, I'd gladly purchase it from you. Ah, the belongings of brave heroes who performed their feats before you. I sense you would be interested to hear the story, but there are few, too few of them for me to recount it yet. Please find all five of them. I'm sure you won't regret the time you spend in the search. Do you want to help us at core? His voice grows soft. Thank you for your words. I'm unlikely to be able to interpret the intricacies of the political world or the affairs of the treasury, but my advice regarding the magic of the arts would be useful to any ruler. Okay. So we have cleared up a whole lot. Oh, I see. So these are the double cross necklace. There's, we have five out of seven and four out of five of these. Okay. I'll keep a hold of them still. Useful to have, useful to have. We have a significant more chunk of cash now. Let's go... Let's go out into the city. Take a look around, meet some new people. We'll probably build a little bit more when we come back from Vulcan, because that's going to take a few days.
Ba ba ba. Hello, my oh. savior. Oh, ma'am. You asked if we'd meet again, and here I am. A savior roam of herbs and flowers at first lets you know that your long-term acquaintance is here. The nymph looks in a strange way like she's never looked at you before. I see your fate has changed since last we met. Now you are the ruler who will determine the destiny of these lands. I am their living heart. The whisper of the wind. The strength of rivers. The luxuriant growth of the meadows. Do you wish to touch this power? Ma'am. I will show you a place where we can finally meet in flesh, you and I. Deep in the woods, there is an old mossy ruins long abandoned, nearly swallowed by the thicket. There is an old tree growing among the stones in the yard, which I remember as a seed. A shadow under its green crown I call my verdant chambers. Visit me there, <laughs> my lord. And come alone. A nymph's reward awaits you. Well, I mean, how can we turn that down? <laughs> so long. I will await you there, as the ground waits for spring under the heavy winter's snow. What do you think these guards think? They're just flirting with the empty air. Hmm. We have Hasuf. See a dark-skinned, wiry man with a weather-beaten face and a happy smile on his face. Uh, he's dressed luxuriantly, and his dark hair and neat mustache are exquisitely coiffured. The man bows you, spreading his arms a little. Hasuf from Absalon is helping to welcome you, your grace. City, city at the center of the world. Oh, I see. Metropolis in, like, the heart of the everything. Come look at the best wares we traveling merchants have to offer. Tell me about yourself. My pleasure, your grace. He smoothed his mustache. Commences his story with an air of importance, speaking in a sonorous tone, gesturing wildly. Asuf's family was not rich, and he, as many in Absalom, had to start from the very bottom. As a child, while his peers chased pigeons and stole apples at the market, he worked at a tannery. I can still smell this disgusting stench. Pulls out a heavily perfumed handkerchief and waves it in the air. Well, the young apprentice worked hard, saved every coin, and soon managed to purchase that tannery from his former master. And as soon as he had enough money, he opened his own training agency. After ten years, countless deals, and many tours in his caravan, Hasuf was one of the most successful merchants in Absalom. That's right, he's named indelibly in the history of the great city. How's that? I'm looking for a writer so I can dictate my memoirs. I think a man would find it interesting and useful to learn about me. Why did you leave Absalon, city of global trade, center of global trade, for some young barony in the, the Stonelands? Come on. Tell me. Very well, as you wish, Your Grace. It was about a woman. When I was still young, I fell in love with the daughter of a judge, an important person in Absalom. Many years I tried to win her heart, but she was cold as stone. Would have given it up, but this is not my character. In the end, I did manage to win her love, but I was unready for it. Abaddon was my witness. The flames of hell burn inside this woman. I could not live with her for even six months. Tenderness and passion one day, screaming and scandal the next. Uh, sometimes she'd break into my office during business meetings to make a jealous scene. Sometimes pull me by my collar from the finest taverns in town. In sleep, I was nervous all the time. Started to affect my business. Realized there was nothing else to do but run. Leaving her and remaining in the city would be impossible, even in such a city as Absalom. So I'd never to, to return. I still fear that hell, a wildcat of a woman, will follow my trail. Although sometimes after a couple jars of wine, I still remember her. Perhaps it was I who unleashed this tornado in her. Somehow I behaved differently. Okay. Oh, flight of magical tower shield. Magical rapier. A thousand quarter staffs. That seems a bit excessive. Ring of plentiful hunts. Better with bows and nature checks. Ring of luck, ring of protection, belts of strength, gloves of dueling, eyes of the eagle. Ooh, those gloves would be pretty good on her, wouldn't they? For Lindsay, her inventory, she's not wearing gloves. 
and her trickery's 12. Do I... I kind of want to nab the trap spurner gloves. Or... Increase my damage or heal screech by 1d6. That'd be helpful for Tristan as well. Kinetic, kinetic diadem. Helpful for uh, kineticists. Dinosaur bones? Oh, use the cast spells. Interesting. Oh, build points. A proper bag of folding wouldn't be too bad. But no, I think I'm actually going... I'm just going to spend a 4,000, though. Um, just sell a couple... I'm going to just sell a couple random scrolls. Yeah, good enough. I don't want to sell a lot. Just good enough. Lindsay. Uh, there you are, my dear. Plus 17 trickery, which is for, like, disabled device and such. It's pretty good. Pretty good. We have over here Verdel. Young dwarf, red-haired, neat, surprisingly well clean-shaven, stands leaning against a sledgehammer. As you're reading some book, but as you approach, he looks up and bows slightly. Greetings, Your Grace. I'm Verdell, a blacksmith. What can I do to help you? Tell me about yourself. What's your to tell? The blacksmith, father's a blacksmith, grandfather's a blacksmith, his grandfather, too. Besides, every one of them were remarkably fertile, so I have plenty of cousins, second cousins, third cousins, all of them are blacksmiths, too. Pretty much all the weapons in Mivon were forged by someone in our family. So I moved from the old home grounds. My skills are more useful here, that's for sure. Mivon is a river kingdom. Okay. Interesting. A little unusual looking for a dwarf. Runs his finger through his hair. You expect to see a beard, huh? No offense, but what's the point of a beard? Especially when you're a blacksmith working with fire. When you burn it once, dip it into light the lighting oil, catch a spark from the forge, your beard's history. You're better off with that one. I mean, that's fair. What are you reading? Uh, different things. Nice to take a rest with a good book. Now it's Valor and Honor, Ten Adventures of the Splendid Willis Gunderson. Absalom. Hold on, Longsword Tongi Adamantine Full Plate Plus One. That is a that's a fucking piece of armor right there. God damn. If you want heavy armor, that's the heavy armor to have. It oof. That is not far. Zar Zarcy? The Tiefling girl looks as though she's made of spring. She cannot stand still for a second. Nods her head, snaps her fingers, and taps her feet to an inner whirling song. Seeing you, she quickly waves her hand and breaks into a wild smile, and immediately starts jabbering. Your Grace, welcome. What do you want? Scrolls? I have them. You won't regret it. The supplies will bring more salt. Scrolls the sale. If you manage to attract more mages to your land, more mages, more demand, and more goodies for you. So go build them libraries. We'll both profit from Who are you? Zarsi the Letter Gobbler, at your service. Best spells, charms, jinxes, and hex the best baron across all the river kingdoms. Buy it all and don't be stingy. You won't regret it. Where do you get your stuff? It's a family business, Scott. Siblings all uh, across all Mendev. They pinch every... Uh, I mean, they're very creative suppliers. And I sell it all. Get it now. Don't hesitate. My goods are great. My goodies are great. Lord. This is just... I feel tired even reading it. The energy. It's good scrolls, though. Okay... I think we have. Do we have? Ready for anything. Don't have blood of dust. So, just to uh, to keep that on our person. Okay. Let's have a look around our... We can see the uh, place. We can see our friends out and about. Hello, Harim. Oh, that's quite the view. A little cemetery down there. Harim. Hello, Harim. Hello. He's just contemplating the futility of existence, the worthlessness of the universe, the ways of greatest are great. My humble mortal mind cannot fully grasp them, but I do what I can. Oh. You know, we've talked to a lot of of people i think we'll sit down and have a proper chat with everybody another time 
Yeah. Old prison, the one you Staglord is using for his wine cellar. Lovely. Going to the guards, though. His stout man suited well-worn armor. His face is framed in silvery stubble. His fleshy nose is red and pockmarked. Radiates perfect calm. As you approach, he bows respectfully and with dignity. I lend your grace, captain of the city guard. The young dwarf girl salutes you, salutes you awkwardly. Delia, assistant to the captain. Happy to serve your grace. Uh, do, do y'all have everything you need? There's some fish and munitions and supplies, your grace. The salary is fair. We have enough to buy toys for the kids and a jug of beer and the shift is done. Of course, the town is growing. It would be nice to expand the ranks, but we can manage that ourselves. Uh, tell me about those that serve us. I guess specifically, you two. Uh, of course, your grace. I've been a guard all my life. I started a snot-rosed runt in the Night Watch. Restoff is famous for its fencing schools. Young people from all the River Kingdoms come to study there. Seems every other person has a sword, and every third thinks they know how to use it better than the rest. A spoken word or drunken fight can quickly lead to a stabbing rampage. That's why there's so many guards in the city, and they don't accept just anyone. Lady Jamandi took note of my achievements, marked me for advancement. That's why I'm here. As for Delia, I found her on the street about a decade ago. I remember vividly, tiny dwarf girl sitting on the temple steps, a dirty face barefoot, feeding a piece of bread to a stray cat. Aw. Oh. Hello? What the fuck is going on over there? I don't know. I saw her, my heart missed a beat. Where she's from, who left her alone, why? Only Ara still knows. As she grew, I tried to send her to learn a craft. The who can talk sends into a dwarf. She wanted to be a guard, and that's that. So now I'm teaching her myself. Lucky she has a head on her shoulders and a fair bit of strength. Okay. Hell yeah. So we know over here we see Octavia. Those we have the, all these random houses. I don't. Oh, there's someone else here as well. This goes to our. This goes to our tavern. Ooh. Someone carved the body poem of the origin of the name Stag Lord, oh lord. Scattered ink stains just that Lindsay may have spent some time here. Oh look, it's oh well Miri's here, first of all. Howdy there. I'm the chief of the Unity Tribe. What do you expect of me? Tribe always must have plenty of food. Tribe enemies must be tough, not some easy scum. Tribe fighters must challenge the strongest enemies. And well, you must rule the tribe. Make big decisions. She waves her hand vaguely. I love her. A normal eight eyes. Once again, she's a part of the Pathfinder Society and she lets us remake our characters or make new ones. Yes. You're the local baron now, right? Congratulations. The Staglers are real bastards. Good thing you killed them. Sometimes justice still triumphs, right? For what it's worth, worth I decided to move to the capital. Living at Oleg's is horribly boring. But here, look around. I can feel the rhythm of life. We'll chat with her properly at some point, too. No. Why are we going behind the bar? Behind the inn's bar sits a young woman with curly red hair, round face, and rosy cheeks. Gives you a friendly smile, fixing her cap. So nice of you to stop by, Your Grace. I'm Alina, the innkeeper. Tell me about yourself. Happy to Your Grace. Love to talk, especially about myself. Where are you from? Hail from the River Kingdoms, our tomb, to be precise. No farming family, just what everyone else is around from there, really. More fertile land pasture than anywhere in the River Kingdom, except for maybe seven arches. The folks who grow crops tend cattle are all respected there. At the same time, they live in constant danger. Too many bad people, too lazy to work all day, but don't mind taking other people's things. Uh, why did you decide to become an innkeeper? I was bored. Please don't get me wrong, I was fine at Father's Farm. I've got nothing respect for farmer's work. Back in, well, in our back country, could go half a year without seeing a new face. No news, nothing happening. Due to working in since I was a child. That's the kind of place where there's always lots of guests and stories. Where does the inn's name come from? I didn't even see what the place was. Oh, it's the Beer Mug Inn. Interesting. Kept thinking about what name to pick, choosing just the right one, but not to waste time. Draw a beer mug on the door. Folk would just see it and come in, so the locals got used to calling the place the Beer Mug Inn. Tell me about the River Kingdoms. 
Uh, months won't be long enough to tell it all your grace. Each kingdom's a special place all its own. Elves live in one of them, another one half the country belongs to the Murderer's Guild. Other half gives in their orders. They say they even get locals' discounts. There's one thing that unites us all, like a strong thread keeps it quote together. It's the Six River Freedoms. Uh, first, oh, they're like rules. First freedom, say what you will, I live free. Doesn't mean you won't get beaten up for what you say, though. Second freedom, well, if you can call it freedom, oath breakers die. Those who break oaths get killed just like that, so people prefer not making any oaths at all. The third freedom is walk any road, float any river. What's the rule of high bar? Said build a gate across the river, collect a fee from each passing boat. Well, there's no more high bar. Oh, I see, so no tolls. Fourth free, the fourth freedom is even worse than the second one. Courts of a kings. Whatever a king, says, a king says goes, as long as it isn't safe to build a gate across a river. The fifth, slavery is an abomination. Nothing to explain there. Runaway slaves from all have come to us for a reason. And the sixth is you have what you hold. It means that theft is a much worse crime than robbery, if you catch my drift. You can honestly beat a robber and keep what's yours, but a thief acts on the quiet. Shame on him. It's just disrespectful. Interesting. That's, that's just a lot. AL camping supplies, lots of food. Okay. Well, hey. Kitchen. Kitchen. Oh, what's the secrets back here? Maybe not secrets, just like the storeroom. Yeah. It's a pretty well-stocked storeroom, though. Let's go see what's upstairs. Exploring around our new place a little bit. Oh, there's Jethel. Hello. Is this your room? Ah, locked. We can't get into it. We cannot pick locks. Oh. Hello there. I hope you don't mind me just busting All into your room. Writing on the wall, Aldori crossed out. Sertova crossed out. Beer underlined. <laughs> Phenomenal. Interesting. Oh. Secret. That secret I'll take. Uh oh. I may have stolen this man's uh axe. Oops. Well. Follow my lead. It's actually good shit in here though. Yoink. Yoink. Maybe I shouldn't be taking all the shit. But the game wants me to take it. Because if I remember, sometimes when you leave these in houses, time. it's giving you the prompt. You try to leave the city. Oh look. The town is being built. Yeah, look at that. Uh, we can go back to the main square for a second to sell a couple of things. And then we can leave, go to Balkan. Actually, maybe first I want to build, buy, just buy some uh, building points. Yeah. Just the music. I've heard this song so many times. Just all the times playing this. It's also my D&D like music playlist, so. There's just good D&D music in this game. I mean, it makes sense. It's a tabletop game. Woven War Axe plus one. I mean, I will keep it. A uh, hundred gold points. Yeah. Because we do have... Maybe we will go back to the... Actually, who can use Dwarf Armor? I mean, I assume... Oh, you... You can't? Uh, usually racial stuff. Yeah, Dwarf and Weapons Mary. Huh. Strange. The word dwarven in it oh treats any with the dwarven as a martial weapon but he's not proficient in martial weapons so i see right that makes sense because he's a cleric clerics only get i think they get simple simple weapon proficiencies and then proficiencies in the weapons associated with their 
deity. So, for instance, good old uh, Tristan there has scimitar proficiency because that's Saren Ray's preferred weapon. Yeah. I'm going to grab a couple of these just to sell. Uh... Man. Yeah, we don't have a monk, so a lot of these like more exotic monk weapons are not going to get used. Back to the main square, just back and forth. Then we're going to go north. I want to make sure I have enough build points, because I think now we can claim some of those little nodes of you know resources essentially they give bonuses to your kingdom if they're claimed should be able to have them now we also can explore much more thoroughly because the fog is gone but we'll probably save that for another time that's a whole thing you know sell it to Vernal. There we are. Sell a handful of weapons we'll never use. Boom. Got 4k. Cut. Little friend cat. Oh. Oh, oh, I see. I forgot. Jathel actually joins us now. Uh, as a level one inquisitor. I'm going to fuck around with that later. I'm not going to... Yeah, it's fine. I'm not going to level her up yet, because I barely remember what an Inquisitor does. We'll save that for another time, when we're going to use her. <sighs> yeah, I think... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're going to go up to Balkan, this and that, but probably going to be wrapping it up relatively it's all this oh there it is verdant chambers yeah we have a lot there now so with the fight we still have to find casey okay no yeah we're fine yeah we have resources which with 15 Get a little bit of a loyalty. Let's go. Yeah, we're, we're going to wander through this place a little bit. Claim some resources. I don't remember there's much in this. It's more over there, actually. Archaeological artifacts. They don't do much of anything. Old outpost, though. Well, we have to camp a couple times doing this just because, you know. May we have a moment of respite? Soon. Eh? I do like we can check our kingdom at any point while we're here. A new event. Event. A problem has arrived. Troubled lands. This area of the baronies had the breeding ground for bandits, brawls, and cutthroats. Let's send a Tristan out. Even though he's in our party. We can, we can, um, send them on those missions, which is handy that you're not, like, locked in. So I think we can get there in time. To our new little town. Let's try it. Yeah. Our new little, little, uh, settlement. should be able to rest for free or if not for free but without having to oh, jesus everyone's saying everything it's a little traitor man just bits and bits and bobs uh 
I'm just checking around. It sometimes these towns have people, useful people to meet, but I, I, we're just going to have a quick little rest. Eight hours, no hunting. Oh, it's raining though, which is means everyone's slower on this map. Good thing we don't have to go far. It's a lovely little town though. Nice little village we've made out in the middle of nowhere. Let's head. Let's actually head. Since it's right here, it's like an, yeah, an hour. Little patch of baronies. I, I'm aware. I've said. Yeah. Medicinal herbs. Fuck off. Is there any? Th I mean, this. But we do not. This is part of. Uh, North Gnarl Marches, which we have not claimed as yet. There's this road. We could go all the way to Restov. We won't. Good. We break off to our neighbor, Varnhold. I don't actually know if we can go to Varnhold yet, though. If I check Kingdom, does it tell me how many they have claimed all the resources for regions? Uh, stats. No, it does not. Okay. I I'll, We'll just have to assume that we have them. I think we do. Oleg's. Ah, uh, yes. Enter. Uh, areas... Oh, it's still storming. Gross. Oh, but we are able to move just normally. Uh, hello, Bokken. Hello there. Hello, do you want to become a court alchemist? He peers at us with an inquisitory squint. A court alchemist? Me? That'd be a first. He finally sighs and waves his hand. Gah, fine. Come what may, you've been kind to me. Kill those damn spiders, brought an old man some berries. I'll work for you. Just one thing, though. I'll need a new lab. Place to keep all my bottles and ingredients. A workshop, yes. As for me, don't you worry. I'll do my part. Okay. So we build him a workshop in the outskirts, that's a J. And. In our settlement in the outskirts region. Oh, really? Okay. Where to now? Oh, look, the whole party's here. I didn't even notice. <laughs> oh, I see we have our own. We can take from the stash there. That's right. So checking... Oh, right. The Shrike Hills is a whole different area. We have the outskirts. We haven't actually explored most of the Shrike Hills yet, have we? Because I just looked up real quick the resources we can have. So for the outskirts, we can have the basin here, the old outpost, and the Blackberry Meadow. Yes, yes, yes. But if we get to Kingdom, the Shrike area is actually bigger than you'd think, isn't it? Artisan. We've met an artisan, a special character craft equipment from you. Find one in every region of the Stolen Land. Some of them arrive on their own or can be found in settlements. They'll ask you for a favor. As soon as you fulfill the request, a workshop blueprint will appear in the settlement. They will receive payment from the treasury, craft weapons and armors, either at your request or of their own accord. Each artisan you hire will eventually request your help in creating a special item. Complete their special quest to unlock a masterpiece, an extraordinary piece of gear. Okay. The Shrek. Yeah, we've, we've not fully... We haven't fully explored it because we haven't gone beyond this river yet. We've only explored, I think, really into here. So we need to look around and continue them, don't we? Uh... Do 
Balkan's Alchemical Shop. Next to a tavern or a longhouse. Well. Fuck it, there. The last of our beep. Our beep. But. Look, he's almost done with bandit outrage. That's fun. Yeah, we've really only explored a little bit. Really mostly within this river. So we have excavation site. Fertile land. But there's probably a few more in here. Or even over in here. This is all kind of, I think, part of the the Shrake area. At least a little bit. But can return that. Let's return to a few more we have a moment of quests respite? for the barony. Although we'll probably end up doing that again later. But I want to get in here and we can go and rest. Enter. If we go to the main square and then rest, we go to our bedroom and then we can go to the throne, but we get a, are able to rest before we potentially have to do any barony stuff because sometimes it's like, hey, you're here, we need your help right now, and I'd rather be rested before that happens. So we can just do uh camp. So that should take us right to our bedroom. Because we have our own very nice bedroom. It's a lovely little place. Yeah. There's a, a, a just a flail. A plus one flail. I think, actually, I'm pretty sure Haddon... Oh, he doesn't. Hold on. Harim, I have a gift for you. You have a master of chemical, but you also have a... Just a straight-up magic flail. Thank you. I'm going to put that in there for... For sentiment, sentimentality's sake. All according to plan. Right. Into the... Here, Jod. Let's. Oh, light. Oh, weird. Coming in from the windows. Oh, oh, we haven't. I thought it said one. Must have had said seven. Or four. I can't read. Apparently, good to know. We have to wait until Tristan's done with his thing anyway before we can properly upgrade anyway. But I think... I think I think that that is going to be it for today. Uh, a little bit shorter than normal, but we've got a good bit done. And I am, you know, relatively low energy still today. Just, uh... That's how it be sometimes, you know. But. I do hope that y'all have enjoyed. We're really, we're, we're getting there. We're getting shit done in uh, Kingmaker. It's very nice, very handy. <clears throat> getting into the meat of the game. And we have a little bit before the next act starts when shit really starts kicking off. We're still kind of in the easy part. It's game is still kind of pulling its punches still. So. Can't wait for that and just, you know, more of the game. It's a great game. It's I love it. It's so much fun. But yes, I hope that y'all have enjoyed. I will return most likely Friday or Saturday. Of course, I, I work for the rest of the week until like Friday. 
On Friday, might be some deep rock with a friend or more, depending on who's around. Or more Kingmaker or maybe not Friday, but Monday, Saturday evening or Sunday evening, I want to be CK3. We shall see. Stay tuned. But until then, then, I hope that y'all have a good rest of your week. And I'll, uh, I'll see y'all around. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.